this experiment is to show that burning needs oxygen so i have a uh, candles with me and i'll put the candle here in this uh, saucer and another candle in this uh, dish one is longer candle one is shorter candle i am putting some water in the saucer as well as in this uh, dish and now i am lighting it see i am lighting one candle and now i am lighting the other candle it's all in air it keeps burning it will keep burning as long as this candle is there as long as the wax is there but if i put this inverted tumbler what happens see on this uh, white candle has already gone off the red candle is still burning and gradually it is also getting dimmer and now now it gets off so that white candle in the saucer that has gone off early whereas the red candle was burning for quite some time now what happens when the candle burns it takes oxygen when it is open it gets oxygen continuously and keeps burning but when i trap when i put that inverter tumbler i allow only a smaller volume of air why did i put uh, water there in the saucer to disconnect see this water that i am putting here is to disconnect the outside air with the inside air air cannot go through the water and enter the tumbler so the air which is trapped in the tumbler only that much is available and when uh, the oxygen in that much air is all consumed or uh, it went below a critical level then the candle went off when it is open it is getting fresh air but when the tumbler is there it cannot get fresh air i have sealed all paths by the water it cannot go through water so it gets off now the other question is what happens in that uh, uh, other candle the red candle what is the difference between the two cases there i put inverted beaker that had larger volume and so it had larger oxygen content and therefore it was there lighting for a longer period 